Hey everybody, Reich Pro Low Tech here. Today I'm going to take you on a virtual hike to Anglin Falls here right outside of Berea, Kentucky. And uh, it's it's tucked away pretty far back into um, kind of like the outskirts area. So I just want to make sure that uh, you guys know how to get here. So I'm going to give you a link in the description down below to uh, the Berea Outreach Center and they have really good directions. And those are the uh, the guys and gals that take care of uh, maintaining these trails and making everything just really awesome for uh, for all of us here. So anyways, let's get down to it. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you is there's a nice little parking lot here. It's a, it's a gravel parking lot that you can park your cars in. And over here, as you can see, there's a marker over here that says the John B. Stevenson Memorial Forest. This natural area is dedicated to the dream of the late President John B. Stevenson of Berea College to preserve the rustic beauty of these woods and to serve as a natural laboratory for students and citizens to experience and appreciate the wonders of nature. May this forest and its falls forever serve to bring us together in peace and unity as he so dedicated his own life a memorial gift from Friends of John B. Stevenson in Anglin Falls, October 13th, 1996. So that's pretty cool. And this is going to be our start. As you can see, this is not wheelchair accessible at all. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. And uh, there we go. So here we go. Let's start walking. Oh, here is also, I just want to go over this really quick. There's maps here that you can grab if you want to um, when they have some in there and there's no climbing or repelling. Um, and I think, I'm not as certain, but I think with uh, animals you can probably have them on a leash here. Hi. Hello. It's a great hike. It is. It's beautiful. All right, so we're going to start walking here and I want to show you the whole trail, but I am going to speed it up on the video when I do the editing so that it doesn't so it's not you know 25 30 minute long video uh, I'm gonna speed up the areas that I'm not talking so but I want to show you the whole trail So we're coming up to the first really neat part of the trail here and that's crossing the creek here and they have made this wonderful bridge for us to cross so it's very very pretty here but across we go be careful here on this last step All right, so I want to show you this is a spot that has another bench where you can take a break and the terrain gets quite a bit steeper as we're going on from here.
this is another spot, a beautiful spot, just to kind of take a look around here really quick. You got the creek down over the hill. You got some really big, cool boulders that you can go look up through. Very neat, like, cliffs over there and up there. And keep going. It's been a rainy, rainy, uh, what is this, March here in Kentucky, so uh, we've had a lot of water kind of coming down the trail. Their trails are a little muddy right now, but they're not always like that. Now we're getting up steeper terrain here, but we're going to keep on going. There you can see the, the creek flowing down through all these boulders here. Just absolutely gorgeous. Really cool rock formations and everything up on this hillside here. I love it. Just gorgeous. beautiful rock formations. Now we're getting a little steeper here and we gotta climb up kind of this rock, rocky area. So be very careful here. This is kind of steep. As you can see, that's the waterfall we're going to. We're obviously to get you a lot closer here. And then here, this part of the trail, we literally come right all the way to the bottom of the waterfall. So there it is, Angler Falls. Beautiful. Now I will tell you this, if you come in the heat of the summer, like the very dry part of the summer, there is not much water that will come over this fall here. So I recommend coming when we've had a little bit of rain so we've had a lot of rain here recently so it definitely is really showing water coming over the waterfall today and you can actually squeeze down here between rocks and go in there and uh, my boys and I will actually squeeze over in there and step up here just for a second to show you guys but we'll actually go and we'll stand and play in the water in the heat in the hot summertime if there's been a little bit of rain but very very beautiful very cool huge boulders beautiful rock faces beautiful waterfall I love it and there's actually a trail over here that is very very steep but we're gonna do it anyway I'm gonna show you going up to the top of the waterfall so I'm gonna come back this direction a little bit and show you trail up to the top of the waterfall once again like I said it's it's very steep here so be very careful
here's a view from further back of the waterfall. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, so we're gonna continue on up the hill here to the top. couple very tricky areas across here so be very careful beautiful though absolutely beautiful but very steep here very very steep Another absolutely beautiful view. Be very, very careful crossing here. Hey boys, stay there. Don't come up any farther, okay? I'll be right back. I told my boys to stay there because that area up at the top is very dangerous and I didn't want to, um, I, I needed to film it and I did not, I need to assist them in going through some of those areas because they're really tight. So, uh, cause it's kind of dangerous. So I was uh, asking them to stay there so I could film it. And then I'm gonna come back and get them after I've already filmed it. Once again, be very, very careful here. It's a very long drop off. All right, and we are at the top. Of the waterfall. Absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, that's where the water goes over the edge. This is one really cool area that I didn't notice on my way up, but I want to show you. It's kind of like a little cavern underneath this huge rock right here. And uh, kind of come back in here and you can, you can climb back down in there if you want a little bit and hang out under there and check it out. And it's kind of cool to see that little tiny waterfall fall off the front of it as well. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I am not gonna make a descent video going all the way back down because it's it's the same trail, but uh, I really do appreciate you guys watching. All right, so guys, I hope you really appreciated this uh, virtual tour of to Anglin Falls and then all the way up to the top of the falls to look off. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Please share it with everybody you know. I'd really, really appreciate it. And leave comments and tell me if there's other places that you'd like me to do virtual tours for. I'd be happy to try to Try to get to as many of them as I can. I love hiking. I know you guys love hiking. And uh, anyways, uh, I'll see you guys next time. And uh, please check out my other videos. I got one other hiking video that is to uh, uh, Indian Lookout at Berea Pinnacles. And I'm planning on trying to make a whole playlist of virtual trails. So anyways, guys, hope you had a good time. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.